Hello, son of God and my brother. This is your awakening. And uh, in this video, we're gonna talk about grievances and why holding grievances is an attack on God's plan for salvation and why you need to become aware that everything begins in your mind and through the tyranny of the ego, because the ego is the prison of your mind, and actually, as, as you experience what you think is real in this world, that never happened, of course, the home of your mind is the ego. You are hostage to the ego. And uh, every thought has uh, a, a consequence. Every thought has an effect. There is no neutral thought. And your mind can uh, create uh, reality or it can make illusions down here. But uh, in your experience at this moment, because your mind is sleeping, son of God, all, all the thoughts that you see as images, all those disordered thoughts are of the ego, are outside you, and they make this one dimensional time, this time and space, which is the same illusion, the, the power of your mind is the son of God, that's your true power, all the power of the prime creator, but uh, here, the ego is using you, and through you, is attacking creation, is attacking the real world. Let's let's um, dive deep into that. So everything begins in your mind. You are mind. You are thought of God. You are thought of God forever, an effect of God. And now the ego has trapped you because it disordered your thoughts. Through those disordered thoughts, your body has been made. It has been made by you. And uh, that, bo that body sees all, all only errors because it is um, an, uh, an effect of a disordered thought. And uh, here you are, you are dreaming, the dream outside of your mind. And uh, you believe that you are this body, but this is your prison, you have fallen, you have been trapped inside this body, which is um, the ego. And um, um, while you have... While we have uh, recognized that the ego's plan for salvation is the opposite to God's, we have not yet emphasized fully that is, it is an active attack on his plan and deliberate attempt to destroy it. <laughs> in, in the attack, God is assigned the attributes uh, which are actually associated with the ego while the ego appears to take on uh, the attributes of God. And this is the, your prison of your mind. The ego's fundamental wish is to replace God. In fact, the ego is the physical embodiment of, of that wish. It is actually the physical embodiment of that wish. And... Um, It is that wish, for it, for it is that wish that seems to surround your mind with a body, keeping it separate, alone, unable to reach other minds, except through the body. Except through the body that was made to imprison it. The limit on communication, which is the body, the symbol of fear, the limitation, the... Um, uh, limitation to love, the barrier to love, the, the limit on communication cannot be the best means to, to expand communication. Yet the ego would have you believe that because that's how it controls you. Although, although the attempt to keep the limitation, the limitations that the body would impose is obvious here, it is perhaps not so apparent why holding grievances is an active attack on God's plan for salvation. But let us consider what, what it means to hold grievances. Are they not always associated with something a body does? A person says something you don't like. He does something that displeases you. He betrays his hostile thoughts in his behavior. You're not dealing here with what, what the person is. You're not seeing the mind that is trapped in that body. On the contrary, 
you, you are exclusively concerned what he does in the body. And that's the ego, of course. That's the ego. And you, you are doing more than a failing to help him free himself from the body's limitations. You, you are actually trying to hold him to, hold him to it. You, you, you are condemning him to it by confusing it with him. And um, judging him to be only a body. And um, to make them as one, the mind and the body. And this is exactly here. Is God attacked? For if his son is only a body, so he must be a body as well. So he must be a body as well. Because a creator wholly unlike to his creation is, is inconceivable. And the question now is if God is body, if God is a body, what must his plan for salvation be? Of course, what can it be but death? In trying to present himself as the author of life and not of death, he's a liar and deceiver, full of, full of false promises, offering illusions in place of truth, and um, the body's apparent, apparent reality makes this view of God quite convincing. In fact, if, if the body were real, it would be really difficult to escape this. But it's an illusion. It's nothingness. This world can be, can be easily escaped when you stop investing it. Everything else is given you. You can't invest in both worlds. Everything else is given you. You just stop investing. Your mind opens. You're getting the new in the now moment as you play your true self. And um, um, you, you have to realize that every grievance you hold in this, that the body is real, it, it overlooks entirely what your brother is. You identify only with bodies. And um, train forces that belief that he's a body, and con you condemn him for that. And. Um, this is your belief that salvation must be death. Projecting this attack onto God and holding him responsible for it. That's the madness of the ego. To this carefully prepared arena where agri animals seek for prey and mercy cannot tender, the ego comes to save you. God made you a body. Okay, very, very well. Let's accept this and be glad. As a body, do not let yourself be deprived of what the body offers. Take the little that you can get, the little it offers you, and God gave you nothing. The body is your only savior, and it is the death of God and your salvation. It is the death of God and your salvation. The, exactly this, exactly this, Son of God, is um, the universal belief of the world you see, exactly this. This is the universal belief of the world you see. Some hate the body, try to hurt it, to humiliate it. Some love the body and glorify it, and exalt it. Oh, my body. Oh. But while the body stands at the center of your concept of yourself, you are actively every second, every day, every hour, every minute, attacking God's plan for salvation and holding grievances against him and his creation that you may not hear the voice for truth, the voice of truth and welcome it as a friend. Hear the voice of truth. It's now inside your mind, in the other of your mind. That's where the Holy Spirit is. Your chosen savior, which is the ego, the body, has taken his place instead. It is your friend and your savior. Christ is your enemy. We will try today, super important, to stop these senseless attacks on salvation. Because when you do that, when you allow your mind to do that, you lose everything. You lose everything. You sacrifice everything for nothing.
empty images. This is already, already over. This is far back in the past. It never happened. It's nowhere, this gold. Empty images. And you lose the real hold that is behind this veil, the fullness of life. We have to bring it in here. But you have to free your mind first with the help of the Holy Spirit. You need salvation. Everybody needs salvation here. And salvation is of the mind and only through peace can be attained. And you have to realize that your upside, your upside down perception has been ruinous to your peace of mind and you are only rich when you have the peace of God, not the peace of human, the peace of God, son of God. You have seen yourself in a body and the truth outside you locked away from your awareness by the body's limitation. Now we are going to see this differently. You have seen yourself in a body and the truth outside you locked away from your awareness by the body's limitations. The life of truth is in you, where God has placed it. You are mine, you are a thought of God. It is the body that is outside us and it's not our concern. To be without body, to be without a body is to be in a natural state. This is the key, true meditation. This, true, true meditation is when you play yourself. That's only when you play yourself. You don't play yourself until you, you are there, you are present, until, until you enter now. You are nothing else from this prison. And uh, ask. Be practice awareness of present and ask, what is salvation, Father? I do not know. You have to become aware of what is the God's plan for salvation. And the answer lies in your mind through the Holy Spirit. He's going to bring you the answer. And you have to become aware that the, the plan for salvation has already been accomplished in us. Your resurrection is already there. You have all the solutions inside your mind where they are needed exactly where the problem is. The problem is of the mind, not of the brain, not of the body. It's the same thing, body. It is of the mind. And to achieve this goal, you must replace attack with acceptance because as long as you hold grievances and attack it, you cannot understand what God's plan for you is. So lay judgment aside, practice awareness, be still. And Call, what is salvation, Father? I don't know. Tell me that I may understand and wait for answer. Be present, be still. He's going to answer. We have attacked God's plan for salvation without waiting to hear it. We have sounded out our grievances so loudly that we have not listened to His voice. Okay, let them go. The key is to just, to just let them go seek and you'll find ask and you'll be answered because now for the first time in what you call your life that doesn't even exist you're choosing life for the first time he will answer be determined to hear what is salvation father i do not know tell me that i may understand repeat the question the request you are asking from the creator of infinity. He's gonna answer. The Holy Spirit is inside you, inside your mind. And do these practices in your day-to-day -day life. Now relax, practice awareness of presence. Be still, all the attention to the observer. And speak there. What is salvation, Father? Tell me. I do not understand. And wait for answer. This is the video for today. Thank you for watching. Say it everywhere that we are teaching the end of time and the end of death, the mind, the indestructible mind, the immortal mind, that we are sharing the, pro the promise of eternal life. We are sharing the light. We are the light of the world. And um, I'm you. I know I'm you. We are brothers. We are, we are, we are 
brothers, our minds, not not your body, not the madness of they go inside you, but I'm brother with you, and um, I'm calling you, I'm choosing your freedom, and you have to set me free, because if you don't move ahead in time, we can never go there, you know, it's, your role is as important as mine here, but I see, and I can give you the eyes, okay, so, peace!